What is up guys, it's your boy Chris, coming back to you with another video. So today I am here to go over some new information that we got about the Tor Canto event. I'm really excited about some of the stuff they told us, so let's get into it. Are you ready for Pokemon Go Tor Canto? Learn more about what to expect from the event. Trainers, as Pokemon Go Tor Canto approaches, we're excited to share more details of what to expect during this epic celebration of the Kanto region. I'm already excited, okay? You have until Saturday, February 20th at 7 p.m. local time to purchase a ticket, so be sure to do so if you want to take part in this one-of-a-kind event. So, you gotta buy your ticket if you're gonna do it, you know? You have no choice. You have to, you have to get it, in, in my opinion. This, this event's gonna be absolutely insane. Complete the Pokemon Go Tour Canto Special Research to unlock Masterwork Research and a chance to encounter Shiny Mew, of course. That's the main, like, big focus of this event, honestly, you know. Who's not excited about that? Like, like come on. Work alongside Professor Willow in Pokemon Go Tor Kanto's special research story, where you'll learn more about the Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region. Practice your trainer skills and come across some clues related to a mysterious Pokemon at the end of the special research you'll encounter, a shiny ditto. So right there kind of says, are we only getting one shiny ditto out of this entire event? It's really questionable. Is it going to be shiny afterwards? Are we going to have some special event where we can get more? Who knows? After completing the Pokemon Go Tor Kanto special research, you'll unlock a new kind of research called Master Work Research, which will take determination and skill to complete. Just completing the first page will require you... Now these are requirements just for the first page. That you receive a Platinum Medal in Kanto which I have. From there, you'll have to reach level 40, which I'm past. Catch 30 Pokemon of each type, easy. Spin 151 unique Pokestops. That might be a little difficult, but at the same time, not really. Walk 151 kilometers and more. An incredibly special encounter with Mew lies, shiny Mew lies at the end of the adventure. So, after everything you do for this research, you get shiny Mew. 10 Pokemon Go Tor Kanto collection challenges to enjoy. You'll be able to complete 10 collection challenges during Pokemon Go Tor Kanto. Half of these collections are based on how you'll find and collect the Pokemon during the event. So right here it says red trade or a red incense and then green shade or green incense. So of course, you know, whichever version, that's going to be your, your uh, collection badge. So if you're red, you do that. If you're green, you do that. But after that, raid, research, and evolve. All those are the same thing. How you complete the red and green collection challenges will depend on your version. For example, if you're playing the red version, all Pokemon in the red collection challenge will be attracted to incense during the event. But you'll need to trade with a friend in order to complete the green collection challenge. Learn more about learn more about the version's differences here, which I did make a video on what's the difference. The other collection challenges are inspired by locations from the original games Pallet Town, Pewter City, Cerulean City, Fuchsia City, and Pokemon League. It's kind of questionable to think on why they only chose those, you know, cities and pallet town, of course, you have to choose. All these collection challenges will be available until Sunday, February 28th, 2021 at 7.59pm in your local time zone. Please note that Pokemon Hatch from Eggs and Shadow Pokemon Rescued from Team Go Rocket will not count toward your collection challenges. The event schedule. The event will be divided into five different locations, theme, uh, di five different location theme hour blocks during which Pokemon from the corresponding collection challenge will be appearing in the wild. Each location hour block will happen twice during the event. The last two of the hours 
of the event will include all Pokemon from the prior hours. This will be a great chance to look for any Pokemon you missed earlier in the day. All times are local time. So the first hour is Pallet Town, second hour is Pewter, Cerulean, Fuchsia, and then Pokemon League, which is going to be the fifth hour. And then we'll go... Mm, wait, hold on. So, Pallet Town is the first, Pewter is the second, Cerulean is the third, Fuchsia is the fourth, and then Pokemon League is the fifth. It is a 12, okay, it's a 12 hour event, I was thinking this wrong. And then we go Pallet, Pewter, Cerulean, Fuchsia, and Pokemon League over again, we get it a second time. And then we have the 7 to 9 where we get all the Pokemon from each hour. Each hour will feature music inspired by the original game uh, created by none other than the Pokemon Originals uh, soundtrack composer Junichi Masuda. Masada, who knows? I don't know how to correctly say that. Don't forget to turn on your audio to re relive the magic of the original games. We cannot wait to celebrate the Tor Kanto region with you trainers. Let's go. Now that's not the only stuff they released to us. There is also a second pout part, <laughs> second part, uh, describing more stuff about it. So you know, there's a lot. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit of a long video for you guys for just the Kanto event. All right, here's the second part. Celebrate Pokemon's anniversary with a brand new event, Pokemon Go Tour Kanto. Uh, wait. Oh, never mind. That's just uh, a recap on... Why would they post that twice? Okay, it's just posting the announcement of it already that we got a while back. I don't know why they would post it twice. But that's really exciting to know that there's going to be a lot of things for this event and what special things we're getting. I'm really happy. I can't wait for this event to happen. Other than that, guys, today is Miltank Spotlight Hour. You'll see that in a different video. I'm going to add it in for the first day of the uh, Chinese New Year event or the Lu Lunar New Year event. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Catch you later.